Folks at home, day two of our pond build and it looks like it's gonna be a wet one. We've already got some rain first thing this morning. Look at all that red Alabama dirt. So if you didn't watch the very first video, I'm gonna put a link right here. You should probably watch it first. You will not believe how much these aquascape pond builders can get done in one day. So the goal for today is to finish out the waterfall features. We're also gonna do some landscaping, get a lot of green plants and things in here that go along with Bonnie and Clyde's new pond. All right, we got the expert with us now. He works at Earthworks. This is a cool looking trailer. He is gonna help us out on which kind of plants we are picking out. So this is our plant lineup. We are gonna turn our backyard into an Alabama jungle. Look at all of this stuff. Bassy. All these plants are moving into the backyard by the pond. We had a dump truck of topsoil delivered yesterday and we needed that because these plants aren't gonna thrive too well in that Alabama red clay. We're gonna continue using the aqua blue stones to make our waterfall up here. We're also gonna add some wooden pieces. I think Greg's out there with a the chainsaw right now cutting some down. And then we've got this smaller river rock or river stone that's gonna kinda go in between all of your major rocks to help fill in those gaps. You don't want big gaps where Bonnie and Clyde could swim in and get stuck and things like that. But you can see here how We've added a bunch of that river stone here and there. And this is our new pet pool pond. Just kidding. That's a 500 gallon tank and we're gonna use it to pump water in to wash the rocks off and then pump it right back out. That's kind of like a cleaning tank. It's 7.15 in the morning and last night when we were on our way to dinner, we passed this tree. They're widening this road and we thought that's a beautiful oak. These are probably 150 year old oak trees. We stopped in that house and the homeowner, who's not happy that his trees are getting cut down, said no problem. So we are about to repurpose some of these branches that have beautiful ferns and everything else growing on them. And we're gonna end up uh, bringing them and adding them for Bonnie and Clyde, maybe some edging and some hiding areas. Look at the ferns growing on this. So that cut right there, that's one of our branches. And we're gonna repurpose this wood for a beautiful bass pond. All right, time to set the wood piece. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Perfect. All right, me and Greg are on a reconnaissance mission. Yes, we are, this is fun. We're gonna be looking for some live lilies. We got a perfect little spot. What, where is the shovel? You take the shovel? Oh my gosh. I wanna be in there with my hands now. <laughs> <laughs> All businesses is fixing problems. <laughs> yeah, a shovel in there to dig this stuff up. I'm gonna have to go with it, grab the roots. All right, so the reason that we're doing this is we're going out getting some native fauna. I mean, this stuff just grows so naturally here. I don't get to do Check this, this in out. Chicago. So the reason that we're doing this is it's gonna seed your pond right away. You know, so, well. Now, one, one warning, we do have gators, so. <laughs> <laughs> don't have, we don't have those in Chicago. <laughs> so we'll be on the lookout. We don't want to become gator bait. Keep an eye out for me. All right. <laughs> dun -dun, dun -dun, dun -dun. That's not too bad, huh? Yeah. Look at this guy. Oh, He's a mess. Yeah, I can't believe I don't have a shovel. <laughs> Here we go. You see those big white blooms right beside you? Get some with the flower. Get me one with the flower on it. <laughs> and he's under. <laughs> this is unreal. Hey, Greg will do anything to make your pond better. Any 
Any luck? Got him. <laughs> Nice little bud on it. Oh yeah, he's over there getting the good stuff now. I even got you a water lily. <laughs> Take time to smell the lilies. <laughs> yeah. I need All right, we got the them. driftwood guy just showed up with some really nice pieces. So, so Robert, we think this looks like a swordfish. You can hang this right in your bedroom wall. <laughs> I would. I would. Seeing <laughs> my wife. If you don't, I am. Nine in the morning. The nine. Nine. Here we go. Feel it. The turbo water coming out of a little pond over there. Hey, hey, there. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right, we're starting to fill her up. He's down here working on the last jet. This will be the last little circulation spot where the water comes out here. Get all our wood pieces set in. We're working on the waterfall structure. The sun's coming out. So he's digging out our overflow trench right here. So if water gets up here above the skimmer line, about six we're going to have an overflow pipe that goes down and drains out into the yard. Look who's about to pop up. He's going to want to use this as propping rock to pull up landscape. Got it. So here's the tuber. You can see that. Yeah. So I'm going to put this down cover it with gravel and then about once here you just got to break it off mm -hmm. and uh, make sure it doesn't overtake too much of the pond okay but I think that you're gonna want to have it fill in you know so yeah. it's a nice natural for the fish and everything else and he even got my bloom yeah there you go buddy <laughs> what's so awesome about this though is I've already saw some little water bugs come off of it and I'm sure there's snails yeah you know we're starting to populate the ecosystem yep. The reason that we're doing this is for the fish. This is how they live in the wild. So yeah. to add aquatic plants that come from the wild that have all of the stuff on it is, is better for the ecosystem because we're going to establish it right off the get-go. Nice. All right, folks, it's lunchtime on the second day. we got to finish this up in about five hours. Ed's going to tell us what we need to do. All right, so where we're at, pond is done. We're basically just doing some of the edge work. So you can see what the guys are doing. They're taking that liner. Um, they're cutting it, they're rolling it back, making sure it's above the water level. Then we bring in a mixture of soil. We have some plantings, we have some small river rock. So we wanna use a variety of different edge treatments which adds a little bit more visual aesthetics. We don't wanna have the exact same thing ha happening everywhere. Cause then it kinda looks a little bit monotone. So you can see what we've done over here. We put in some waterfall stones. So we're always thinking uh, when we do our waterfall, we're putting in these big giant, what we call frame rocks. And we wanna have them kinda staggered. We wanna use a variety of different shapes and sizes to give that good overall visual look that we're going for. Then we come in with our flat pieces that are actually gonna be the spillways. Behind those rocks, we have to seal it with, uh, with a polyurethane foam. This is a waterfall foam. So what we're doing is if we didn't put that in place, the water's gonna come gonna off of our liner. It's gonna go behind down. the rock. It's not gonna go over it. So we wanna force all of that water over the top of these stones. It's gonna go over this log. We got that beautiful cedar log. So now what we're gonna focus on for the rest of the afternoon, finish foaming that section up there. We have our upflow biological filter. That's connected, that's sealed on up. And then we have to come in with a uh, few more big rocks in a few key areas. Then we're gonna start trimming up that liner, grading everything out. We got piles of dirt all over the place. Wanna smooth all that soil out. Then we're gonna start doing plantings on Landscaping. that side first doing all that plant work going all the way up and around. We have to work our way out of the property in that direction because we still need yeah. that big piece of equipment <laughs> yeah, the big boy. to get the job done. This is bull rush. Yeah, bull right rush. here, right next to this beautiful piece of the log. wood that your buddy brought. Look at that. That's nice. um, and then we're I want to be a bass. <laughs> yeah, I want to be a bass in this pond. All right, my man here's got the tedious job. Man, he's, I have been getting handed all the shit work. <laughs> he's making this liner disappear. Look at it. The liner, the black liner there. You can see how it's disappeared here. Looks just like a natural edge leading up to the water. Got to keep them working hard. That two o'clock slump is happening. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. He's calling for you over there. The devil's in the details and the moss right. man is installing yep. some moss up here for us. Is there any particular name for that moss or is that just local? Probably take you it. know, it comes from where I live, yeah, Alabaster, but grabbing. it's pretty indigenous throughout the southeast. Okay. I've been on hikes on the Appalachian Trail and I've seen it. Yeah. But there are different varieties around the world and around the country. 
You can even uh, order different varieties and bring it into your garden. And will and that spread different. or is it pretty much going to stay yeah, right there? Yeah, it'll uh, slowly start creeping up the Okay, rock. cool. Mostly where it's really going to be a lot of splash and staying wet. Yeah. So you got to think like the water. Where's the water going to be splashing is where you put the moss. Okay. But otherwise, it's eventually going to, you know, cook and not get enough yeah. moisture and hydrate. Cool. I love it. Putting the finishing touches on it, doing the landscaping. Got everything laid out. It's all coming together. So we came, we saw, we conquered two days. This is the certified Aquascape contractor crew from near and far that came. Hey, how about a hand for Bama Bass? Woo! All right. We're going to give birth to a new waterfall right here. So, literally, Bama how many Bassett. tons of stone? 24 tons of 24 stone? 24 tons of stone, not including gravel. Including gravel, we're almost 30 tons. 30 of tons. Wow. Two days. <laughs> All right, so come here. You're going you're gonna to be a proud mama. <laughs> twice, proud mama. twice in one year. Okay. Is it starting up there, guys? <laughs> Okay. Here it comes, here comes the waterfall. Here we go. We might have to turn it up though. I don't know what it's going to respond to. <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh, beautiful. Here it is. Look at that. Yeah. Right. But just watch, now watch it come down over that cedar log. Oh, yeah, we cut that cedar nice. log out and brought it. Oh, I love it. It's going right yep. underneath already. <laughs> Look at that. I think, I think we've done one or two before. Yep, I agree. You can see it on the other side of that log. we got to go into the split. Coming through a little split. we got it cutting across that way. That is a spectacular one. <laughs> oh, okay. Now wait till we get to the bottom here. When that, oh, look at it. It's already <laughs> coming over. <laughs> nice. That rock was built for a waterfall. <laughs> 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 Hey, this all is, right. you know what, this has really been a labor of love for all of these guys. I they, appreciate you know, the help, fellas. We couldn't have done it without you. You know what, you guys are a great couple. I want to say that, you know, it's, it's fun for me to see people that we can introduce to live in the Aquascape lifestyle. All of us, we love our jobs love here. Jobs. And hey, for all the Bam Bass fans, I'm going to say this, Stephen is the real deal. He's been out here helping us the entire time, great, being a great host. And now you're going to live the Aquascape lifestyle and love expose it. more people. Because I think everybody needs one of these in their backyard. Would you guys agree to that? Yeah. That's right. Okay. <laughs> to the airport you guys got barbecue. He's got five minutes you guys got flight. barbecue and beer coming i got oh. your food ready oh, this is I the best tell. part we're leaving <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks, we couldn't have done it without the amazing crew, so I'm going to stop by and, and introduce you to everybody. So we got Jason here to start off. Tell us a little yes. bit about you. Um, so we're a landscape, we're a full-service company, so we do landscaping, water features like this, uh, hardscapes, everything. So Out of Jacksonville? Out of Jacksonville, Florida, yep. Okay. Earthworks out of Jacksonville, Florida. Earthworks. Um, yeah, we just love doing this in people's backyards. This so. guy is the one who came up with ideas for all these plants, trees, bushes, top-notch work, folks. I got a link in the description. Go check him out and his company out. Thanks, Appreciate guys. it, man. Yep. And that's his sidekick right there. Also, filmographer. He does a lot of the video work that you'll see on their channel. They made some videos of their own. All right, here we go. Still working hard. Who we yes. got here? Hey, Bama Bass Nation. It's Brian Dolly of the Fishman Services out of Birmingham, Alabama. Birmingham. We're an interior and exterior water feature company. And what that means is we do both backyard ponds and indoor aquariums. And we definitely admire uh, Stephen's Aquarium <laughs> and keeping the bass and yep. uh, Bonnie and Clyde. And it's it's been a joy to watch. Yep. You guys have been a pleasure to work with. I, I appreciate you all coming down and shedding all your knowledge and hard work with us. It's a labor of love, yep. Stephen, and it we sure enjoy is. it, man. And uh, it's just a passion like you have about your, your fishing industry. Yep. And I uh, can't wait to follow along and, and yep. see the new critters in their new home and <laughs> uh, proud to be a part of the Bama Bass Nation. All right, guys, go check them out. I got a link in the description for him as well. Let's see who else we got over here. All right, guys, tell us about your company. Uh, He's been the one doing the tractor work the whole time. Hey, hey. Who we got here? My Big name Rock. is Guy Edwards. I'm with uh, Big Rock Ponds. Um, we'll have a link down in the description for his as well. Where yep. are you out of, Guy? 
I'm out of Gadsden, Alabama. Gadsden, Alabama. Been there about 25 years. Cool. And uh, we just uh, install ponds and waterfalls and fountains. We try not to plant any plants unless they're just around the <laughs> perimeter of a pond. Yeah. All right, guys, check them out. BigRockPonds.com. All right, who we got here? Who's up next? Bubba Hogan from Memphis, Tennessee. Memphis, Tennessee. We Green just ate some barbecue. How was our barbecue? It was all right. One as good as Memphis, <laughs> but it was close. It was good. It was edible. Yeah. Uh, it was real good, though. So what's your uh, your company name? And it's Dreamscape Landscaping. Dreamscape Landscaping. All right, I'll have a link for him down in the description, so you guys check him out. All right, next up. Hey, I'm John Adams with Modern Design Aquascaping. We're from uh, Friendsville, Tennessee, just outside of Knoxville. We do custom ponds, waterfalls, and fountains out of stone and natural wood, and we build all over the country. Guys, check them out. I'm telling so, you, these guys are experts. Look at what they just did behind us. They can turn your backyard into something like that. I mean, it really is unbelievable the work that they do. So, we you need some work done in that area. I'm telling you, you look these guys up. They're the best in the world. We've just started our YouTube channel up, and we've YouTube got a few, few videos okay. out there. So, so, uh, so they can go check out your work. Yeah, out. I'll put that, a link to that channel down in the description. Cool. Oh. Last but not least, we got Tanner, the man. Well, tell us about that business first, because that's a little bit unique. Guys, you got raccoons in your house, snakes in your house. You give me a shout at 423 <laughs> My name's come Tanner Flowers. All right. Let me spit some of this food out. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash Tanner Flowers, and there ain't no telling what you're liable to see. You see me catching live copperheads, see me building a water feature just like this, you might see me doing a crawl space job. You never can tell, but I've enjoyed meeting Steven. I've enjoyed seeing Bonnie and Clyde for the first time in person, and I know I can't wait, just like you guys, to start seeing the live shots that Steven's going to be getting of Bonnie and Clyde hitting top water in this pond, and I can't wait. It's going to be epic. So thank you guys for supporting us. Thank you for following along, and we look forward to seeing you more in the future. All right. Children.